Good evening. Albuquerque police are investigating after a bomb threat was made against a local synagogue this afternoon. News 13's Chandler Farnsworth joins us in the newsplex and has more from police. That's right, Alexa. The threat was made to the Adat Yeshua Messianic Synagogue at the corner of Lomas and Jefferson. Albuquerque police told us the bomb unit responded to the threat around noon today. But we will be aggressively investigating this. Albuquerque police responding today to what they say was a bomb threat against a local synagogue. Officers, including the bomb squad unit, were at the scene for roughly four hours before determining the scene was safe. After searching and never finding an explosive device, however, law enforcement tells us they did find a suspicious item. They did locate a suspicious backpack inside the, the building, so they took their time um, and, and did what they usually do with the bomb unit. They, they determined that there were no explosives in the backpack. APD says the threat came in from a New Mexico crisis hotline. In that threat, a male told the hotline that he was at the synagogue with the bomb in a backpack. Officers say the building was evacuated and nobody was injured. APD has since been in contact with the hotline to get further details that may help in their search for a suspect. The caller did express um, some negative sentiment, sentiment towards uh, the country of Israel and related to the situation in the Middle East. Said that they were going to have a bomb set off to go out, a, out to go off at a certain time here at the synagogue. This bomb threat comes after APD said they would increase patrols in and around places of worship as violence in the Middle East continues. Officers did confirm no other synagogues or mosques in the metro have received similar threats. Now our impact detectives have started an investigation to try to determine uh, who is responsible for this. Chandler Farnsworth, KRQE News 13. APD says their detectives have taken the lead on the investigation, but that they will be working with other law enforcement like the FBI to find the person responsible. Alexa. Okay, Chandler. All lanes of Lomas and Jefferson in the area were shut down most of the afternoon. They have since reopened.